Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reacting to the next three songs from Washing Machine Heart and I'm so excited. This is my favourite Mitski album so far. I feel like this album's a lot more my vibe because I don't really like the other albums as much. Um, I liked them when I was reacting to them but after listening to them a little bit more I'm not a big fan but I absolutely love this Be The Cowboy album. I think it's really really good. Last three songs, loved them. If you want to see me react to them, you can go and check that out. It's on my channel. And yeah, let's just listen to Pink in the Night. And let's change the colour of my light. Because I'm bored with this. Here we go. Now we have a horse named Cold Air. Very strange song. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, next one is Washing Machine Heart, which I am so 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 so, so excited for. I cannot wait. Let's just go. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where is it? It's here. 
Je me suis oh, yay! Been waiting for this for so long. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm definitely gonna be reacting to a live version of this. That might be the only live reaction I do. Ooh. I don't know. Did I enjoy that? Maybe. Yeah, I think that was quite good actually. Um, the last three songs, not as good as the three songs before that, I must say. But Washing Machine Heart, quite good. Um, and yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, actually no, it's not it for the video. Why am I saying that? Let's have a look at the meanings of the songs, the last three that we listened to. So, A Horse Named Cold Air. What does Genius have to tell us about that song? So, that song, what does it say? It says, in a song, Mitski uses a metaphor of an aging racehorse to tell the story of someone who, looking back in their lifelines, they've just circled the same old sin. This song encapsulates the album a lot. A horse that used to be young, used to be vibrant, but now is sort of still and cold and old. That's so sad. Um, her music is like an aging racetrack greyhound graceful but still kind of sad interesting and then the next one was washing machine heart oh i didn't look at pink in the night oh well um it is about a version of her it's a person who's in me i'm not this person all the time it's a woman who feels powerless and overcompensates by exercising extreme control on herself and her environment and just trying to be powerful within the limits of her own body who she is but kind of just unraveling a little bit because the amount of control she's exercising onto herself maybe isn't healthy or isn't natural there's something more warm and human inside that she's pushing down in order to appear strong to the world the heavy backbeat in the track may represent the clatter of a washing machine and how it paralyzed the feverish thrum of mitski or her protagonist's heart very interesting and then pink in the night what's about what What's about that? What's that about? So Pink in the Night is the 10th track. It's an atmospheric love ballad centred around the visual of someone glowing pink because they're so infatuated. Oh, sweet. The heartbreak doesn't have to be a, hor a horrible, bad thing. It's just like I'm so infatuated and in love that I feel myself crumbling, but in a good way. Interesting. So yeah, that was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what your favourite Mitski song, favourite Mitski album is in the comments. I know I always say that, but I really love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, I shall see you all soon for the last two songs of Be The Cowboy. See you next week. Bye.